Welcome to Besiege Bots, the real home of robotic combat in Besiege. In this episode, we decide which of our semi-finalists will be competing for a shot at glory in a Besiege Bots tournament crown, and which bots will have to settle for a bronze medal. In our opening contest, we see a match between the two highest ranked teams on our leaderboard as Team Yeetior and Team Pilot Light duke it out to see who will stand atop the ladder after this tournament is said and done. Then, in our main event for this evening, we see Team Yeetior's second chance to make a final as they attempt to be the first team in Besiege Bot's history to make the finals of two weight classes in a single tournament. But standing in their way are our SBC lightweight champions, the United Lunch Alliance, who will look to make it two major tournament wins in a row. CG3PT has bounced back in a big way since losing in its rumble and eking out a decision in the redemption round by finishing both of its last two opponents. Team Yeetior will be looking to make their first final as a team since their debut tournament Heavyweight Havoc all the way back in 2018, but to do it they'll have to pull off an upset against Melvin. Melvin has looked strong throughout the competition thus far, winning dominantly in all of its fights. Team Pilot Light will be looking to make it to their first grand final and believe this machine is their best chance to do it yet, having beaten CG3PT multiple times in testing. Now kicking things off in episode 15, in a semi-final match we see the two top teams on the leaderboard, Team Yeetior taking on Team Pilot Light. Ooh, a big flip early from Melvin. The CG3 hit its own chassis there. It's trying to self right now, but Melvin keeping good control. These bots have fought a lot of times in test fights, and Melvin generally seems to get the better of those. Because CG3 has a hard time actually hitting it, it tends to just ride over the top. Melvin has a very tough geometry to hit for other spinners. It's just a very annoyingly designed bot. Very hard to get under it. Ooh. Melvin, see, you can see it getting under the spinner quite easily. And just keeping CG3 off balance here. Ooh, but they lose the flipper there on that hit. That's good for CG3. They're still going to have a tough time gaining control, but they're landing some better hits now. Ooh, and they hit Mel... Ooh, I think they sent Melvin over the wall. They did! CG3, Team Yeetior make the final, and they've got another chance to make the other final later. CG3 will compete for the championship, and Melvin is forced into the bronze medal match. Bottom Feeder comes into this fight, having KO'd its last two opponents, including Super Heavyweight Slaughter 4th place finisher Dysphasia. The Diddlers have a tough matchup in this fight as they take on the fastest bot in the competition in Warp Drive, but will be looking to defend their crown and make it to the grand final match. Warp Drive has proven itself to be one of the most exciting bots in Besiege Bot's history by winning both of its last fights by KO, including splattering its sister bot creep against a wall. The Institution of Insanity find themselves on the cusp of making their first final in a non-heavyweight tournament and have never lost in a grand final fight before. And now we're on the way of fight number two. Determining our first member of the Super Heavyweight Grand Final as Warp Drive takes on Bottom Feeder. Warp Drive bringing their anti-spinner prong setup. I'm not sure if that's going to be better in this matchup than their normal wedge would. Because their normal- Bottom Feeder's spinner hangs quite high off the ground, so the normal wedge might actually deflect it better than the prong setup, which is typically used against spinners. But some good damage early from bottom feeders. They ripped one of the uh, sort of holders that stop bots from going over the top of warp drive off. I think they did some damage to the grabber armor. Oh, they did a little bit of chassis damage. I think the wheel guards. Ooh, the whole front bit has been broken actually, and they lose a wheel stack there. That's not good for warp drive, is it? self rights by just driving extremely aggressively. Uh, I'm not too sure. It, the 
Tall Pod is flipped around the wrong way, which means one of the wheel stacks is actually facing the wrong way, which makes it incredibly difficult to drive right now. Wolf Drive really going to need to try and unstick that front segment, their wedge, so that it's not interfering with their ability to drive. Oh, but now the front wheels got ripped off, so now they can actually drive even with the front part inverted the wrong way. That's good for Warp Drive, but the damage certainly is not what they want. Ooh. You can see the downforce being the wrong way also affecting them, though. Ooh, did they get flipped around the right way there? Oh, I think they're actually flipped. No, they're not back around the right way just yet. As Wow, and they're down to one wheel stack. And there goes the last wheel stack. That's going to be a KO for Bottom Feeder. It's just about waiting for the count out now, which should occur in the next five seconds or so bottom feeder and the diddlers make it back to the final to defend their crown with an impressive ko bottom feeder doing it for thwack bots everywhere warp drive will have to settle for a bronze medal match but congratulations to the diddlers Flint McGee won its quarter-final matchup with Little Spook with a fairly dominant decision win. Frogman Robotics find themselves in their second top four as a team in what promises to be an excellent driving match against the very bot and team that knocked Flint McGee out in the quarter-finals of Beetleweight Bash 2019. Stance Attack Jr. won a narrow decision over just the tip in the quarter-finals, but find themselves against a familiar foe in this fight. Team Mistakes Are Made will be looking to make their second Beetleweight Tournament Final in a row by beating one of the bots they beat on the way to the Beetleweight Bash Final in Flip McGee. Now we're underway with the last Beetleweight Semi-Final. The winner of this will take on CG3 while the loser will fight Melvin in the bronze medal match. As Stance Attack Jr. getting the better of these early wedge exchanges, they've got the mini bot in there for this fight, not needing the anti spinner setup like they have in the last uh, matchup against just the tip. Ooh, very nice lift there. The mini bot getting in the way a little bit, just annoying Flip McGee. Flip McGee finally gets his first flip, the mini bot immediately in, and Stance Attack now on the aggressive. Arguably, probably we're getting called for a juggling call there, which is why they let Flip McGee down. Good little pin there by raising their wedge up to stop Flip McGee from going over the top. But Flip McGee gets a good flip from the side as the mini bot tries to be aggressive and get against Flip McGee there. These two also faced off in the Rumble where they were both eliminated by Incinerator thrown over the uh, walls but Flip McGee then eliminated Incinerator so now they're trying to beat Stance Attack as well they'd have wins over both their Rumble opponents which would be quite interesting heading into the finals as Flip McGee tries to get away from the mini bot there but Stance Attack staying aggressive it's very good teamwork from the mini bot and the main bot of Stance Attack to keep Flip McGee, but Flip McGee being driven extremely well, doing a good job of not letting them get too much control and getting away whenever it has a chance to reposition. Ooh, gets under there but misses the flip, unfortunately. Ooh, there's a big flip. Ooh, and there's another big flip. Oh, and they flipped the mini bot. Oh, the mini bot's been flipped over. So if the mini bot, I don't know that it can drive. Actually, no, no, it can, but it won't be able to out wedge. Oh, stance attack were actually trying to flip their own mini bot back over there, I believe, so that it can start wedging again. But they'll need to flip flip McGee over for a second to be able to get a push on their own mini bot. Oh, that flip from Flip McGee actually ended up flipping the mini bot back over, but they immediately flip it again, but lands the right way up, luckily. Oh, stance attack, pushes Flip McGee. St 
Stance Attack with some good control here. Getting under those side blades of Flip McGee and getting a good push with their blades sort of wedged up underneath. Flip McGee is definitely going to be counted as a pin. But Stance Attack let go just in time. Ooh, nice little flip there from Flip McGee. Stance Attack. Doing a good job. Ooh, the mini bot getting in. Some good control points. Stance attack messes up and goes over the uh, ramrods. But back in control again. Flip McGee pushes itself off the wall, which almost ended up flipping stance attack. And they flip the mini bot back over. There's another good flip from Flip McGee. The minibot is trying to self-write using the ramrods. It's trying to write itself by using the ramrods. And it's in there. Oh, but it can't drive. There must be... Oh, I think it's due to the trigger for the ramrods some, for some reason causes a lack of friction. We'll see how that's scored. And one of the sides of stance attack actually broke. Flip McGee winning on damage, aggression, and style, but Stance Attack winning on control, but it ends up being a 24-21. Flip McGee moves on to the grand final to take on CG3, while Stance Attack has to fight Melvin in the bronze medal match. Metallica comes into this fight having scored one of the most impressive wins of the competition, de-shelling Kotetsujo in under a minute to KO perhaps the most deadly bot in Besiege Bot's tournament history. Team Meteor already have one bot through to the final and will be looking to increase their chances of a crown by getting both their bots through for a chance at the first double crown in Besiege Bot's history. Sirocco enters this match after making quick work of Unholy in their last fight. This fight is high stakes for the United Lunch Alliance who are looking to make it back-to-back -back major tournament wins if they can beat Metallica here and get through to the grand final to face the reigning champions, the Diddlers. Now we're underway with the final match of the semi-finals as Metallica comes out of the gates early and aggressively. Team Yidio looking to be the first team to make two finals in the same tournament, I believe. If they can beat Shiroko in this one, they're keeping Shiroko off guard. Oh, this is a great push! And they I think they flipped them out, they did! Wow, Team Yidio makes both finals super heavyweights and beetleweights. Pardon my mistakes there, just very excited for Team Yidio. Metallica moves on to the gold medal match, and Shiroko will fight Warp Drive for the bronze medal. That's it for this episode. First up in the beat-away bronze medal match, we'll see Melvin taking on Stance Attack Jr. Then in the super heavyweight bronze medal match, we'll have Warp Drive versus Shiroko. Meanwhile, in the grand final competing for the crown, we have CG3PT going up against Flip McGee. And in the super heavyweight gold medal match, we'll see Bottom Feet of Five attempt to defend the Diddler's crown against Metallica. The next episode will be the grand final of Summer Slamathon and will feature both fights for third and both best of three grand final matches. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you're interested in joining our community, follow the Discord link in the description. From everyone on the Besiege Bots Discord, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you soon.